We're back with more Ask Wendy. Mm-hmm. Hi, Wendy. I'm Jason. Hi, Jason. How you doing? Good, Jason. Okay, so I recently found out that my friend's boyfriend uh -huh. uh, was one of the emails listed on the Ashley Madison hack. And they've been together for about two years. It's a serious relationship. Okay. Uh, I want to know, should I say something to her or just keep it private? How, how long have you been friends with her? Um, I would say four or five years. Well, if you tell her, then you have to risk losing her friendship because she'll say that you're lying on her. Right. Uh, Can you print the email, put a stamp <laughs> on it, and mail it to her? Possibly. Anonymously? Um, like, because you can't email her that, otherwise she'll see that it's coming from your email. So do the old-fashioned thing, take it to the post office yeah. with no return address. For more ask Wendy. No, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. My name is Connie. How you doing? Damn it, man. <laughs> so how Wendy, can I help? so Wendy, I have a 20, 20 year old son that always calls me every time he and his girlfriend get in an argument. Oh. So far, I've done it twice and called her. Oh no, 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 yes. no, 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 Con no, 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 Connie, Connie, Connie. <laughs> I did. I did. I called her twice. And so the most recent fight they got into was yesterday. So he asked me to talk to her again. And I said, Meantime, you're no. in New York trying to get to the Wendy show. Yes, but I'm all in my son's business. I am all in his business. So he, so I told him no. This is before I left. And so he took my phone behind my back and he texted her and he said, What's wrong? How do I get out of my son's relationship? Even though I really don't want to. But anyway, no, I need to. <laughs> Tell your son that mama's boys are often turnoffs. Yeah. We love boys who love their moms, yes. but there's a fine line. And your son is crossing the line. And even you recognize it, Connie. I do. Yeah, stay, stay out of it. I'm trying. Uh, well, no, tell him to leave you out of it. It's a turn <laughs> off. You know, and you hide know. my phone. Yeah, and hide your phone. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Connie. Has he ever walked in on you having sex? <laughs> Connie, you know that joke. Come on now. Hi, how are you Wendy? doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. <laughs> how can I help? Well, I have a girlfriend from high school, and mm -hmm. we've been friends forever. But she does the same thing year in, year out. I have meet a guy at a bar or a restaurant or on a cruise even. Right. And she'll come and intervene and flash her green eyes and, and tell him my dark secrets and turn him slowly against me and, and walk off into the sunset or bedroom with him. And <laughs> she's my girlfriend. I know she wants the attention. But I, I'm thinking about dropping her. What do you think? So, so you've been friends with her since high school. High school. And so you have let go issues. Yeah. Get over it and let her I go. She, she is not your friend. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry. And you know what? And, and tell her why you're letting her go, just so she understands. I've talked to her before. She says it's my imagination. Okay. I'm well, then don't tell her why. Just delete her information. Uh, it's time for Ask Wendy. Everybody have a seat except for you. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Don't try to escape now. Hi, Wendy. My name is Marte. How you doing? How you doing, Marte? <laughs> How can I help? Well, my a good friend of my husband's hit on me. I mean, uh, blatantly, right there in front of him. Yeah. And I told my husband I don't want nothing to do with him no more. I don't want him around. But he's, he stayed friends with him, and he still goes out with him and stuff. How, how can I get him to, friend this, to end this friendship? Okay. So, Describe the hitation. Well, it was a group of friends. We all went to this party. He got slammed. He got so drunk. It was... And then he just, like, he hit on me, like, told me what he wanted to do to me. Oh. What did he tell you? Clean it up for TV. <laughs> He wanted me to see him naked. And your husband heard this? Yes. And what'd your husband do? He, you know, he was like, man, oh you know. <laughs> he was like, man, you know, you're drunk, you know, stop tripping, you know, and he just kind of got him out of the situation. Okay. Well, this is not a situation where your husband shouldn't be friends with the guy, but this is definitely a situation where you don't want to be around this right. guy. He doesn't bring him around, so he's but not... he still goes, and I, don't, I don't like it. I don't even want him affiliating with this guy. Oh, God. That, 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 that's a hard one. It's a, it's a hard one. So what's your question to me? How do I get a man the friendship? <laughs> Continue to tell him that you were very offended 
by his friend saying that he wanted to see you naked. I do. Yeah. Okay. And, and how long have you been married? 19 years. Yeah. Well, on yesterday. With, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Hopefully, you'll make it to 20. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Is the friend cute? No. <laughs> no. Not even a little bit. J just ask me. <laughs> How you doing, Wendy? Fine, thank you. I'm Roy. Hi, Roy. All right. Hey, I have a question. Uh, my daughter, she lives in Atlanta. Uh-huh. And she recently bought a nice washer and dryer. Okay. How old is she? She's 25. Okay. And so I asked her, I says, uh, how did you buy that? And she said, my sugar daddy. <laughs> and so, you know, we're, we're kind of going back and forth on the table. I said, you're kidding, right? She says, no. So, but, but she also has a boyfriend that I really like. And how, so, long, how long has she been with him about, Roy? About two years. Okay. And so I want to know, should I fly to Atlanta and straighten out this sugar daddy situation? <laughs> <laughs> Where's her mother? In Texas. I think that you and her mother need to powwow about this, and her mother needs to talk to her, because there are plenty of girls with a boyfriend and a sugar daddy, and I'm not saying it's right, yeah. but mm -hmm. there are very few girls who would talk to their father about it. Right. <laughs> That is real inappropriate. Now, whether she keeps the sugar daddy or not is none of your business, but I think her mom needs to tell her that a woman does not share certain things with her dad. Don't you? You stay out of it. Okay. Okay? Because she is grown. Okay. Okay, Roy. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, so I have a quick question. A um, couple of weeks ago, I met this guy on social network. We ended up going out on a date. Everything was great. On the date, I found out that he actually was the nephew of my one of my really good girlfriends. Ooh. So, I mean, it wasn't really a problem. After the date, the next day, I woke up to three nasty text messages. From her? Yes, from my girlfriend. Okay. And she was saying she felt disrespected. She can't believe I'm going You didn't nephew. know that it was her nephew. Right. And one thing, he's, he's 25. It's not like... And he's grown. Exactly. It's not like he's Who 16. do you like better, her or him? I like him, honestly. Okay. I want to go, go on a second date, so that's my question. Let... Do you think I should go Yes, on I do. Okay. And furthermore, if it doesn't work out with him, you realize that you can't get back Back to her, so you lost both. Right. Take okay. the gamble, girl. All right. Have fun. <laughs> um, I'm Gabby, and I've been friends with this guy for about three years now. And when I met him, he had a girlfriend who's now his fiance. Did you have a boyfriend? Uh, not at the time. No. Okay. No. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> keep, keep going. And uh, in February, he told me that he would leave her to be with me. How long have you guys been best friends? Uh, for three years. Uh -huh. And now, I, at the time, I told him to stay with her because they'd already spent all this money and like already started planning the wedding. Okay, okay. And now I'm having second thoughts and maybe I should tell him before the wedding, which is coming. When's the wedding? Um, Don't say June 3rd. <laughs> Please, <that's> tomorrow. <laughs> in, in August. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, YOLO, as the kids say. <laughs> You only live once. If he marries this woman, you can no longer even be his friend because the sexual tension will be so big. I know. You will be breaking up a happy home, but apparently he's not so happy. He won't be able to get the money back, which means that you can't have a big wedding with him. You have to... <laughs> you're going to have to go to the justice of the peace, but I say follow your heart in this one, Gabby. Break up that home. <laughs> and, no, look, that's what it comes down to. No, you know, follow your heart. And tell... Right after the show. Text him during commercial. <laughs> okay. Hi, hey, Wendy. My name's Shannon. Hi, How Shannon. You doing? Good. So, here's the story. I dated my ex high school sweetheart for about six years on and off. About four years ago, he came out of the closet. Oh. Recently, he's been back in town and he wants to hang out. My husband says absolutely not because he's my ex. I say, but he's gay. And how many years have you been out of high school? Ah, uh, since 10. It was actually just 10. 10 years. And you dated him on and off during high school and, and then, then some time college, and into college. And after college. Well, and he was my best friend I, forever. I must have to say, I agree with your husband. Oh, no. I'm sorry. All right, I'm not showing him this. I, I'm so. sorry. <laughs> but you know what? If, if he was. Um, I said, I wouldn't have even told my husband anything about that we dated. Mm -hmm. Just that he's, he, you know, he's mm -hmm. my friend from high school and that he's gay. Yeah. But because uh, unfortunately, you might be able to flip him back. <laughs> You know, like, like I'm, 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 like, I'm with your, I'm with her husband, okay? I'm with her husband. Sorry. Hi, How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? A nice outfit. Thank you. My name is Erin, and um, I have a 16-month-old son named Cody. Now, my husband is Asian, and my son looks nothing like me. He looks like a little Asian boy. So when we are out and about, people will be like, "Oh, cute kid. Is he yours?" Or like, 
just awkward, weird questions that they wouldn't ask me if he was like a chocolatey baby. <laughs> should I be offended? Should I like have a one-liner to come back? Or should I just smile and nod and keep it moving? You definitely need a one-liner to come back. And you definitely should be offended. Yeah. Is that is the brown coming in on his ears? You know, because, <laughs> like, like, like for, for my people, we all start out like a particular shade lighter than what we'll grow into. And usually the brown starts growing in on the e you He's 16 months. <laughs> Sixteen months. Yeah, so so the brown the browner, phase is passed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you need a quick one-liner. Yes. And be offended. Okay. How dare people. How dare that. Uh-huh. How you doing? Hi, my name is Whitney. How you doing? Hi, Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> well, I broke up with my ex about a year ago because he was lacking career focus and ambition. Well, now he's got this big job. He's a director at this hotel, and he's making a lot of money. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so... I want him back, but I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I don't know how to approach him without seeming like a gold digger. <laughs> but you really liked him. You just dropped him because of lack of ambition. Doesn't yes. mean you didn't like his character True. or the sex or something like that. Uh, lack of ambition is a reason to drop somebody. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, you don't have to explain that to him, but um, just be subtle when you call him back. And ask him what's up, and act like you don't know about his new position. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very, very well, Whitney. How you doing? Hi, I'm Donna. How you doing, Wendy? I like your on-trend fringe. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have a question. I have been married for 28 years, uh -huh. and my husband is very friendly. Sometimes his friendliness comes off as flirtation. Somehow he always ends up in the room with all the attractive ladies. Oh. He is a soccer ref, and recently he started... Is a soccer what? A soccer ref. A high school oh, a soccer, soccer ref. ref. Okay. And he recently came home with baked goods from moms. Oh. He's like, isn't this nice? I said, I don't know. How do I let these ladies know that my man is taken? It's not about letting the ladies know. It's about letting your man know. Yeah. Let, it, let him understand that he's stepping over the line. And while you can still smile about it and treat it lightly now, in about 30 seconds, you're about to crack his skull. <laughs> you know? He needs to calm it down. The ladies are feeding off his flirtation. And I know the way to get to your man is through his stomach. Yes, but that's your man, not theirs. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying, Donna. I'm going to get to him through his Very stomach. well, Donna. Good luck. <laughs> oh, oh. Hi, hi Wendy. Um... <laughs> hi. Hi. Um, so my name is Bree. I just moved here six months ago to pursue a modeling career. Of and course. I've been offered to live in a model house. Yes. So that basically means I live with 10 to 15 other girls, and we basically live for free and go to parties every week. My only concern is I've never lived with other girls before. I've lived with family. So I'm wondering, is it a good idea to even consider this? Well, dear, do you have money for a one-bedroom walk-up in New York City? I don't, but I can get help for that. So oh. I, I have options. Oh. So, yeah. No, I think that you need to co- No, no, not, <laughs> not, no, sir. Don't go with the options because that'll make you seem like a snob to the other models. Okay. You know, if you're going to be in the business, you've got to roll with the punches. And part of rolling with the punches, break is to break out of your comfort zone and live with the, uh, the other girls. Now, okay. how old are you? I just turned 22. Okay, perfect. You know, it, because you have money, she apparently has some sort of money where you don't have to spend every single moment in this model house. You have plenty of time to be out and about New York City and have fun whenever you want to breathe or break from those girls. Okay, but one more question, though. Okay. If that's the case, what do I do with my stuff? Because I'm scared. The thing is, is that they might take things. That's a rumor within that. So <laughs> I just don't, like, yeah. Girl, you're talking to Agent Gadget. <laughs> All right. You get yourself a trunk mm -hmm. and you put a lock on it. Yeah. Yes, okay. yeah. yes Bray. Yes, yeah. Bray. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Hi. Wendy. My name is Steven. How you doing? How you doing, Steven? <laughs> so I moved home this summer with my family and I'm really close with my parents. I want to save some money while I'm studying to go to law school. My mom's really close. She wants me to keep my hair long. I want to cut my hair. She can't come with me anymore. She cries every time I cut my hair. <laughs> I like it like this. I like it shorter on the sides. My girlfriend likes it. I'm 27. How... Should my mom have a say in how I cut my hair? <laughs> no. Thank you. But here's the other thing. 
a counselor, once you become a counselor, you know, you know, we, your public, we're, are going to dictate that we don't want to see mohawks and things like that. So you only have another moment to really live and let live. Exactly. I'm enjoying it while I can. Live, Steve. Live. Yeah. Live. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wendy, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. How can I help? Well, my name's Karen, and we have some neighbors who just moved in around the corner. Uh -huh. They've been in their house for about three weeks, mm -hmm. and they have yet to hang any curtains. I can Perfect. I can see a lot. I mean, no curtains anywhere, not even the bedroom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, it's kind of awkward. Should I just go knock on their door and tell them to go curtain shopping? <laughs> so, who do you live with? My husband and my children. Is your husband looking? It's, no, no. Okay. So, I, I, haven't, so, I haven't told him And yet. the kids either. So no, you're the no. only one who notices. Yeah, I'm the only one. Absorb it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, don't, don't knock on their door and say, get curtains, because that's starting off bad neighborhood ship. But I would take notes. And don't draw my husband's attention to it. No, it won't. <laughs> All right, Karen, okay. good luck. Thank you. And happy peeping. I love it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wendy. My name's Jennifer. How are you doing? Hi, Jen. How are you doing? Good. So I'm having this issue. Um, I've been dating this guy for a couple months. It's going really well. He's a gentleman. The problem is he makes me do all the work. I plan all our dates, and even in the bedroom, he's a little passive. So I'm just wondering, how can I get him to take control and be more dominant? Okay. <laughs> You've been dating him for a few months? Yes. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> Sir, he might be. Oh. But let's leave that alone because Jen is a young girl. She doesn't need to be. Bit... How old are you, hon? 30. Yeah. Um, how long have you been dating him? It's been about six months. About six months. Mm -hmm. um, this might not be the guy for you. You know, after yeah. three months, you know, you've stayed about three months too long. If you're planning everything, mm -hmm. you're not going to change him. True. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Wendy. You're very welcome. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Fine, thanks. My name's Andrea, and I have a question about a coworker who, every time I see her, she seems to want to show me these inappropriate photos of her and her husband on her phone, sometimes in lingerie, sometimes sends me some inappropriate videos of other stuff. What other stuff? Some sexual stuff. It, like not them. Okay. Is it, is it girl girl action or man girl action? All different or, things. All different things. Okay, okay. So okay. it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Uh huh. And I don't know how to handle it. And uh -huh. what I want to know is do you think she's hitting on me? <laughs> or is she just comfortable with me? Well, it's a twofold thing. I think that she's comfortable with you enough that she's showing you these inappropriate pictures. Mm -hmm. But I also think that maybe that this is a swingers couple. Yeah. And. And sometimes when you swing, a, a man leaves it up to the woman to bring the other woman in. I'm not into that. Well, okay. Married well, mother of two. I, I would have a conversation with her. Okay. You know. How do I do it and make it not so awkward? Go out for drinks. Okay. You drink club soda, let her drink wine. <laughs> and then you explain to her and it'll be done. Thanks, okay. Wendy. You're very welcome. Uh-huh. Hi. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? I was watching you all through Hot Topics. <laughs> Beautiful coloring. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. How can I help? Okay, my name is Sharina. I wasn't Sharina. hitting on you, by the way. <laughs> if you were, we all could <laughs> Okay, I have a 16 year old daughter who's really pretty, and when we go shopping, she likes to pick out like nice, trendy things that are a little bit revealing, but nothing ridiculous like a crop top or a short short. Right. My husband has a problem with this. He says I need to stop trying to be the cool mom. But the thing is, I like the way it looks on her, and I think I like the clothing, too. I would wear them if I could. If, you know, and how old is she? 16. 16. She'll be 16, 16. tomorrow. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Your father is, her father is being a father. Yeah. He's doing what a lot of men do. As a matter of fact, it'd be odd if he wasn't saying right. anything. Yeah. But should I so, not? Th th listen, I don't know your man or your household, <laughs> but there's a fine line that you can walk with your daughter being a modern girl right. while at the same time appeasing your husband so he doesn't right. think you're trying to, you know, Matthew Knowles her. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Beyonce turned out great. <laughs>